I am delighted to welcome all of you to the degree conferring ceremony for the graduating batch of 2022-23. Congratulations to all the graduates. Um, I would now like to request our dignitaries to please come on stage. Thank you. Please join me in welcoming our dignitaries. We have on stage our principal, Dr. Anagha Tindulkar Patil, Dean and Administrator, Dr. Sister Ananda Amrit Mahal, our chief guest for today, Professor Shubha Tule, Vice Principal Arts, Dr. Rashna Poncha. And Vice Principal Science, Dr. Rajbinder Kaur Dehia. Thank you. I invite our dignitaries to inaugurate the ceremony by lighting the lamp. Thank you. for the college song. I now invite our principal, Dr. Anagha Tindurkar Patil, to address the gathering. Good morning, everybody. Good morning and a warm welcome to the degree conferring ceremony of Sophia College for the batch 2022. 23. On behalf of the Dean and Administrator of Sophia College, Dr. Sister Ananda Amrit Mahal, our Program Chairs, Vice Principal Arts, Dr. Rashana Poncha, Vice Principal Science, Dr. Deya, 
controller of examination, Dr. Sunita Jadav, and the entire examination committee, the members of academic council, and the associate and assistant professors of Sophia College, I would like to extend my warm welcome to the chief guest of the ceremony, Professor Shobha Tole. Please put your hands together to welcome them. <laughs> Dr. Tole is the Dean of Graduate Studies at Tata Institute of Fundamental Research, Mumbai. I take this opportunity to introduce our esteemed guest. And students, be patient and listen to this. This is a graph of a woman who sat, who did not sit here to take her degree, but was part of Sophia family. Am I right, Dr. Tole? 87 to 88. Aha, uh -huh, 87 to 88. So listen to this graph very carefully. Professor Tole obtained her BSc in Life Sciences and Biochemistry from St. Xavier's College, Mumbai. 1987. Her MSc and PhD are from USA. She worked at the University of Chicago as a postdoctoral fellow and joined the Tata Institute of Fundamental Research in Mumbai as a faculty member in 1999. Her research interests focus on the mechanisms that shape the development of the brain. Professor Tole has received national and international recognition for her work. She was awarded the Infosys Prize for Life Sciences in the year 2014. The Shanti Swarup Bhatnagar Award in 2010. This is the Research Award for Innovation and in Neurosciences by the Society of Neurosciences in 2018. She got another Research Award, 2008, and that calls for another round of applause. <laughs> now here this is for a women's college. The National Women Bioscientist Award by the Department of Biotechnology, Government of India, 2008. The Swarna Jayanti Fellowship by the Department of Science and Technology, Government of India, 2005. A Welcome Trust Senior International Fellowship in the year 1999. She is a fellow of all three Indian scientific academies. She serves on the board of directors of the ALBA ALBA Network, president of the International Society for Developmental Neuroscience. I do not know, Dr. Tole, how you handle all of these responsibilities in one go. Okay, and, and the list goes on. She is, this is very important for me and important to understand, she is an excellent mentor. In 2022, the Society of Neuroscience USA awarded her for her outstanding accomplishments in mentorship. <laughs> Professor Tole is a past chair of the Women in Science panel of the Indian Academy of Sciences. She has conducted workshops on ethics in science, a topic that should be close to our hearts. As you move ahead in labor market, as you join the industry, please keep in mind, this is a very, very important topic and a very important area. She actively engages in public outreach via workshops in schools and colleges and encourages students to do the same. She also writes blogs to provide guidance and mentorship to younger colleagues of hers. Dr. Tole, we have already booked you and we are going to have you definitely talking to our students. We look forward to an association with us. Please put your hands together, therefore, once again, to this kind of illustrious chief guest. Thank you so much for taking time out and joining us here. I'm confident that our graduates will benefit from your words of wisdom and expertise. I extend now a very special welcome to the stars of today's ceremony. 
the graduating batch of 2022-23 students. I request you to please rise as I call out your program name. We congratulate our graduating students from our five programs, Master in Sciences, MSc. Are they here? Congratulations. <laughs> Bachelor in Sciences, BSc program. Congratulations. <laughs> Bachelor in Mass Media, BMM then, which is now called BSCJ. A loud round of applause. Congratulations. The Bachelor in Sciences in Information Technology, BSc IT graduates. <laughs> and of course now, thank you and congratulations. And of course now, the Bachelor in Arts, the BA students. <laughs> thank you so much and congratulations. We congratulate all our graduates the accomplishment is a result of your hard work and perseverance. Please convey our regards to the proud parents. Oh, yes, no, Master of Arts we uh, do not have yet. Master of Arts. Oh, I'm so sorry. I am sorry. Please, a round of applause for them. This is what happens. This is what happens. Let me describe this. It's called sometimes Ghar Ki Murgi and Dal Barabar. It's a, it's a program run by Women's Center and is associated with the Department of Sociology, the department to which I belong. I congratulate you on your degree. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dr. Raj. Congratulations to everybody. I, I, I will go back. The accomplishment is a result, indeed, of your hard work and perseverance. Please convey our regards to your proud parents, family members, friends. Without their support, this kind of accomplishment is not possible, would not have been possible. And I'm sure you agree with that, right? Heartfelt appreciation to the faculty, to the staff of the college for guiding and nurturing you all. We congratulate you on your graduation and you are soon going to be walking across the stage. With you, you are going to be taking not just a piece of paper, your degree. A degree conferring ceremony is a special occasion and it is more than the degree that you take from Sophia College, I'm sure. Your memories, your accumulated wisdom, and more than that, your relations with your teachers, with your department, with your program, with the community. We are very happy because we are celebrating what you are and what you have achieved so far. It is indeed the culmination of your hard work. But mind you, it is also a beginning of a longer journey, journey that is less definite, without timetable, without examination schedule, without knowing your portion sometimes, and without even knowing the rules and regulations of promotion or ATKT. May God give you a lot of strength to identify who are yours, who are the well-wishers, who are the family members who are going to walk with you in your journey long enough to make you feel empowered and accomplished. Let God give you strength to be a partner for somebody else joining hands with the journey of the institution, association, family, person, 
we would want to ensure, Sophia College wants to ensure, that you reach, of course, higher and higher heights. But at the same time, we also want to ensure that you become partners. You, you share your wisdom. You share your care. You become caregivers. You contribute to community. Be competitive, but be mindful of that competition. Be competitive, be competent, but be mindful of whom you are competing and what kind of competition you are getting into. Be mindful of choosing your race, competition, and be mindful of what you are putting at stake. Be mindful of your preferences. Be aware of the fact that every situation will not give you the same set of answers and be aware of the fact that the same set of skills are not going to work every time. You have to keep growing. You have to keep choosing. You will have to learn when to step back a while. You have to learn when to pause. You have to learn how to smile at somebody else. And you've got to learn how to be kind with oneself. Because if you are going to nurture yourself, you're going to help others. You're going to nurture others as well. So on this degree conferring ceremony, let me tell you all that be the responsible social citizens that you must be. We are always there. So Fire College is waiting. Please come back if you need something, but also come back for something more. I'm going to today ask for, as Indian tradition goes, some sort of Guru Dakshina. No, no, no. Guru Dakshina is not always money. Though money is also welcome. <laughs> Guru Dakshina is about you all coming back and connecting back. Students, your beloved college is going for NAC next year, which implies that we need your support, we need your association. Just a few days ago, I have placed a Google link, link with the SBP of 22 and 23. Uh, I think Aditi has uh, circulated it around. If you have not yet got it, please get possessive about it and get that link, fill it in, and give us the data as soon as possible. We also want to tell you that as we go for NAC, it is everybody's NAC for the last five years, and you are part and parcel of that five years experience. We are going to call upon you. We are going to ask for help. We are going to say that, look, in this area, we need some more data. We need some more information. We need you. Please do come back as we call. This is the only Guru Dakshina that I'm asking for from this batch this year on behalf of Sophia College. With the best wishes that we can give, lots of memories, cherish those of Sophia College, all the very best. And to say this again, that we are extremely proud of you. Keep the flag flying high. Congratulations again. Thank you, Dr. Anaga Tindulkar Patil. I now invite Professor Tole to deliver the keynote address. Sorry, uh, we'll be f uh, awarding her with a token of our gratitude. Thank you. I now invite Professor Tole to address the gathering. I guess I can't walk around with it, but uh, it's such a privilege to be here. Okay, this place is my alma mater. I spent a wonderful year of a master's training here. Uh, thank you for inviting me. Um, actually, after your amazing speech, I think most of what I have to say is just <laughs> not necessary. I mean, I think I will go home with the idea of choosing your race carefully. 
one life to live, choose it carefully. I will go home with that idea, so thank you very much. And I know you folks are the stars of the show, and you know we oldies, I'm sorry to include you in this, <laughs> uh, get to stand here and speak, and you're just waiting for your thing. Uh, I completely get that. Um, in fact, almost every graduation speaker begins to saying, you know, this is not the time to give any advice and so on. But seriously, please, please do keep this phrase in your mind. Pick your path carefully. Pick your race carefully. This is something that's uh, so incredibly important. Um, and you know, I would exchange my um, state of, you know, state of being with any of you today. I've enjoyed my life very much, but you know, my path is no longer uncertain. It's been written. My future is limited. You folks, everything is in front of you. I mean, how exciting. How absolutely exciting to be in your shoes. You don't know what's ahead, and it's for you to write. Yeah, a little bit terrifying maybe, but how incredibly exciting. Okay, so when some oldie is introduced to you as, you know, yeah, 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 2,000 years ago, they were in this college and that college. <laughs> um, and even when a list of awards are very kindly named. Um, okay, please remember one's career is not about awards and recognition. Your career is about doing something that fulfills you. Down the road, somebody recognizes it, doesn't recognize it, that fulfillment can't be taken away. Um, the absolute high point of my life, okay, one of the few privileges of being a scientist, occasionally, you know, and you do many experiments, you have hypotheses, this and that, and then a student is at the microscope looking, Lakshmi Subramanian, uh, and says, there's something very funny about this mouse brain. It has five memory centers instead of two. I mean, you could live a long life and not hear this <laughs> sentence, right? This is how discoveries are made. And then, five years later, you know, somebody gives you an award for it and so on. And some journalist thrusts a mic in your face saying, Madam, now that you got this award, now do you feel motivated to do even more better research? And I'm thinking, if I wait for an award to do even more better research, I might as well be dead, no? I mean, <laughs> so, so, you know, uh, the recognition is important for society to realize good things are happening in our culture, in our country, in our society, right? Um, but they're not the most meaningful part of any individual journey. So in addition to choosing your race, yeah, know what, you're, know what gives you fulfillment, right? That's, that's kind of something to really keep with you. Um, so I see so many young women here, some young men. Uh, let's not forget about you all. <laughs> um, I'm going to... I'm going to uh, say a few things that you may like to um, think about down the road. And it's very important that the men think about this too, because seriously, if we had only women in the world, we would not be discussing women in profession, women issues at all, right? It would be just one. Uh, and I should also say, uh, certainly we know gender is not binary. And uh, in fact, it's a large continuum. Uh, we talk about women in professional spaces and so on only because it's sort of easy to note that you have women and you have men. You can't really go polling people saying, what are you actually? <laughs> right? I mean, it's, it's because we don't, we don't know how many are represented and we cannot, it's not reasonable to ask. We, uh, in this space, talk about women in professional fields, women in, in careers, women not in careers and choices and so on. But certainly we acknowledge that there are large numbers of underrepresented minorities for whom many of these ideas apply. So I want to kind of do a survey here, okay? Uh, when did you all first realize that, you know, as a young girl, you're a girl. Things are different because you're a girl. Okay, when did you first realize that you were not just a kid, but now you're a girl and therefore you have to X, Y, Z? Okay, and I'll give you age brackets. Before the age of eight, between eight and 12-ish, between 12, you know, after 12, and so on. If by the age of 12 you haven't realized it, then come and see me, I'm a neuroscientist. <laughs> uh, so, okay, so before eight, between eight and 12, 13, 
uh, and once you're a teenager, okay? Show of hands for before eight. Just look around, huh? interesting. There's not that many hands up, right? Um, between eight and 13. Yeah. So think about, I'm not going to ask you to say in public, think about <laughs> what event or occurrence made you realize, oh, you're a girl, things are different because you're a girl. I'll tell you mine, okay? I was climbing up a tree. I used to climb trees. I used to love climbing trees. I was very good at it, okay? Um, and somebody who had not yet climbed up said, oh, I can see under your skirt. And I just looked and said, so you can see under his shorts, you can see under this, you know, why are you telling me? That was the event that sparked in my mind, things are different for girls. We have to keep our skirts down. We have to sit with our knees together. Even today, I find it difficult to just sit the way guys do, aram se. And this physical constraint is a metaphor for other constraints that we, I mean, think about it, you know, I, I don't need to, in fact, explain to the large number of art students here <laughs> how one thing is a metaphor for many, many other things. Think about the intellectual, social constraints that the simple act of how you sit imposes upon you, right? Think of how many things have been so limited because, oh, you have to keep your legs together. You have to keep something. And I'm going to map this to career paths and how women are recognized and appreciated. And you know what? It's not those men who do it to us. We do it to each other, OK? Um, Think of, think of any male figure that you admire, or um, if you were in co-ed schools and so on, if you were electing your class um, representative, class pres school president, whatever, right? If you were electing, I'm sorry, I'm making a noise with this thing. Can I? Okay, much, much better, thank you. Now I can wander around. So, if you were electing your school whatever, um, um, head boy, head girl, president, something, class rep. Think of the qualities you would look for in a guy. Okay, anybody want to tell me some qualities for which you would give your vote to uh, for a head boy candidate? Yeah, yeah. just say. Hmm? Consider it. Responsible. Smart. Confident, cooperative, respectful, resourceful. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm getting, I'm getting a very biased set of comments. Okay, um, what, what, what about a head girl? Same thing. All right, you're already pointing away. Ho gaya. So I live in the real world, <laughs> where most of you will join. Um, my own personal experience, okay, at when young faculty, you folks think all professors are, you know, once professor hogya hogya kind of thing. Young faculty are appointed heads of committees, uh, chairpersons of various things in leadership positions. I should say that my personal experience is that leadership in a guy is recognized more easily than leadership in a woman. The same traits that mark leadership in a guy do not mark leadership in a woman, okay? Um, if you express opinions as a guy, oh my, you have you know, a broad view of things. If you do so as a woman, you scare people because oh my God, she has opinions. So she'll rock the boat. I have, as a young faculty, been left out of as many committees as, you know, because people want women to be accommodating. They want women to be, you know, basically likable. The overriding factor for recognizing a woman for things is this narrow bandwidth of behaviors, okay? God forbid you should ever raise your voice in a committee meeting. People will remember that forever, okay? A guy can throw a tantrum and that's fine. So what I'm saying is we do it to each other. We have different expectations. And in the real world, you might see this play out. So my message to you all is to keep this in mind. And let's try and make whatever society and community we join, let's 
judgmental. Let's, let's accept that people come from different states, different backgrounds. Do you know how much people work to hide the fact that they may be under terrible economic constraint or terrible personal situations? It's as if it's you know, embarrassing to the person who's experiencing this to reveal this. So outwardly, we have to show everything is OK. Even if, even if you're actually experiencing abuse at home, people will not say because they feel embarrassed. And naturally, you, know, you wouldn't want to advertise this to your work colleagues and so on. But how does such a person interact in the workspace then? Right? Let's, let's be less judgy of whether people's attire is what we expect. Okay? That's a whole different set for women. A guy just wears pale gray, pale blue, pale yellow, pale brown, stripes going this way, stripes going that way. <laughs> you know, and it's all right. Some random pair of trousers, you guys are really lucky. <laughs> Some random pair of shoes. When a woman travels to conferences, oh my God, you have to come up with the whole set, right? Some of you, some of you are natural at this, and this does not stress you out. Some of you may not be as natural at it, right? Imagine having to tote around a pair of matching shoes for everything. You can see I have solved the problem. <laughs> yeah? But seriously, I didn't have this courage in college. In college, you know, it's, it's a socially competitive space of how you accessorize, yes? Is it still so? Uh, so, going forward, going forward, let's recognize people come from different situations, different states. And the person within may not, be, may not easily map to whatever summary you make from the person, persona that you see without. And that will allow you to actually identify real friends, real colleagues, uh, people who will be extremely rewarding to you personally to know and a privilege to interact with. You will find gems where you don't expect them. And that's sort of, that's sort of, uh, that's something that I've, I've seen over my life, which is something that I'm, I'm sharing with you today. Linked to the idea that somehow, women get told what to do all the time, okay? Close your eyes and think about the number of times in your entire life you've heard the phrase, you should. You should go for this. You should do that. You should not something or the other. You should try. You should try. You should try. If you haven't heard it enough, wait till you're pregnant. The number of people who will tell you what you should and shouldn't do. Can you imagine? How many of you have brothers or men in your life whom you... Can you imagine anybody telling this person, you should, you should, you should? They'll just say, hey, and they'll just leave the room. Nobody tells young boys, you should as much as we hear it, right? In fact, close your eyes and think of how many times you've heard it. And when I say go, just clap for each time you've heard it. Ready? One, two, three, clap. So think about, and think about who has said you should to you. When I say we do it to each other, right? <laughs> yeah. We, we do it, for some reason, women are thought of people who is as needy of advice, okay? And in order to give advice, it means you've made a judgment that said person, you know, needs to be explained this, needs to be told this, needs to be told this, right? So when I say, let's be less judgy, let's, it's, it's, it's all part of the same, you should, you should um, attitude. And I would say, Two of the worst you shoulds, and this is the very last point I'm going to make, two of the worst you shoulds that are in fact the most, you know, one of them is actually a weapon, is you should calm down. <laughs> when do you hear the phrase calm down? <laughs> you hear it everywhere. When else do you hear it? Calm down. How many have heard calm down? <laughs> anybody willing to volunteer when you've heard calm down? I don't know if anybody here raised their hands, but. Yes. <laughs> um, you hear it when the person, and, and how many, okay, when you hear it from women also, okay? 
it's often a man will tell a woman to calm down, but we do it to each other. It's when the person talking to you doesn't have a way to counter whatever it is you're saying, which is why I say it's a weapon, okay? They get very perturbed, okay? Perhaps sometimes by the higher pitch voice that women tend to have, they interpret it as overly emotional, overly sensitive, overly whatever, overly something. Or, overly just doesn't mean you are overly anything. It just means it's more than they can handle. <laughs> it's just overly for them, no? It's not overly for you. Yeah. So, so calm down, you should calm down is one of the weapons used against women when you're simply trying to make a point. Don't be so emotional. I'm making a point. If you find there's emotional overtones to it, maybe that's part of the relevant point, right? And you need to be able to handle it. So if we as a community, uh, how do you say it, recognize this, I think it'll be so much better for us and everybody around us because you need to call out people who are doing this, right? Just you know, letting it happen in front of you is in some sense abetting it. So we need to be allies to each other. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to close with this last one. Possibly the worst you should. You should settle down. <laughs> I mean, seriously, is it anybody else's business? Right? And this very, I mean, just the image it conjures in my mind. Settle, settle, settle down. I mean, what? Not have thoughts? Not have ideas? You know, sort of settle down to the bottom of some, you know, just, just think of what settle down means, right? Quell your ambitions. Quell your aspirations. Just think of the large overtones. I'll hand this over to the sociologists to, uh, to bring out, I think, maybe a whole course on what you should settle down means, right? So, so this is your day. Never calm down. Never settle down. Go forth and stir it up. Thank you, Professor Tole, for that very thought-provoking lecture. We could see lots of heads nodding from behind the stage. Thank you. Um, I, Dr. Gitanjali Ganguly will now invite students to collect their degrees. Good morning, one and all. Firstly, congratulations to all of you. Uh, we will be starting with the master degrees. Uh, I would like to invite Professor Tole for confirmation. The following students have been conferred the, with the degree of Master of Science in various subjects. Ria Biju, Chelsea Correa, Ria Biju, Chelsea Correa, Anjali Jaiswal, Leticia Rodriguez, Rohit Reji, Jansi, Jansi Bansali. Anusuya Nair, Tanishta Shetty, Nilo for Banu Khatri.
Bushra Nirban. Asmita Mishra. Chelsea Rumau. Afreen Ansari. Purva Kantak. Asnath Khan. Lope Saloni. Siddesh Savant. Thorat The following students are conferred with the degree of Master of Arts in Gender Studies Shiv Rajini Shraddha Shraddha sorry Diana Tagi Isidora Pereira. Congratulations to the, all the master students. Uh, now the following students have been conferred with the degree of Bachelor of Arts in various subjects. Maria Advani. Avila Coutinho. Sherry's Elvin. Ayushi Ananda. Urva Ansari. Prathma Sani.
Alina Anthony. Sanya Appa. Rachel Aramban. Samantha Aroka. Sakina Arsiwala. Salma Arsiwala. Mritika Asmita. Sonalika Avasti. Sonalika Avasti. Shumona Bakchi. Eva Bage. Prarthana Bakshi. Amreen Bambuwala. Shreyoshi Banerjee. Ria Batla, Rashi Bhagat, Anuja Bhagwat. Pratishtha Bharadwaj. Sneha Borogoyen. Umehani Ahmed. Ronia Chacher, Sara Chaudhary,
प्रेरणा चावला सृष्टि चावला परिनास चिचगर लिपिना पॉल माहिमा चौधरी प्रिंसिया कोहलो करेन कॉस्टा एलविसा दाबरे लरिसा दाबरे कायनास दादाचंद जी कशिश दागा तारुनीश डांडीवाला किंजोली दास श्रेया दास स्नेहांजलि दास तानिया दस्तूर युक्ता दावे Christine De Costa, thank you so much, Dr. Tole. I would now request uh, our principal, ma'am, to hand over the uh, certificates to the other students. Thank you so much. Fiona Deshmukh, Rishita Delia.
Vaivavi Donde. Dian Diaz. Naomi Diaz. Soleha Divan. Galen DeMello. Anaita Dipena. Ruth De Selva. Clarissa De Souza. Dina De Souza. Emily D'Souza. Emmanuel D'Souza. Juliana de Souza Sara de Souza Shirley de Souza Shreya Falcao Alinda Fergus. Brittany Fernandez. Leomi Fernandez. Risa Fernandez. Yana Fernandez.
Kate Ferreira. Blessy Frank. Huda Gazdar. I now request my colleague, Dr. Elvin John, to take away from you. Thank you, Dr. Ganguly. I continue with the students who have been conferred with the degree of Bachelor of Arts. Natasha Gadiali. Roswin Gomez. Hia Gope. Palak Gundecha. Adiri Gupta. Sakina Hardwarewala. Kate Ki Hulamajage. Akshohini Jaraun. Mania Jane. Yamini Jane. Yamini Jane is absent. Insia Jamnagarwala. Saumya Ja. Taiba Kalpati. Ishiga Kalra. Janvi Kanzara. <laughs> Hu 
Huda Kabadia. Devi Kab Sadanandan. Angelina Kaka. Zainab Kambati. Alisha Khan. Nida Khan. Sara Khan. I request all the graduates to maintain the whole hall decorum, please, and put your hands together to all the degree graduates. <laughs> Nitya Khanna. Sara Katri. Afifa Kilji. Adidi Kotari. Eshiswi Kotari. Inaya Kotia. Amira Kuchi. Alicia Luzbo. Riley Machado. Surbi Malu. Charvi Mamidena. Kinjal Mandavat. Yeshna Manocha. Rivekta Mati. Mm -hmm. 
Elvina Mascrenus. Nakia Master. Fatima Maimon. Jace Mendes. Risa Meneses. Devika Menon. Rukaya Merchant. Deepti Minj. Agansha Mishra. Swinal Misquita. Clarissa Lopez. Neha Sons. Charlotte Cabral. Atifa Ansari. Pooja Kadam. Sweta Solanki. With that, we come to the end of Bachelor of Arts. Thank you so much, Sister Ananda. We, we would now like to invite our Vice Principal of Arts, Dr. Rashna Ponchov, to hand over the cert degree certificates. The following students have co been conferred with the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Strategic Communication and Journalism. Anoushka Pereira. Ocean Anil. Giselle Azavedo. Shrishti Bagheria.
अंजलि बडोला दिया बिजू खुशी बिसेन शिवांगी बोर्डोली नूरिया चिनवाला अनुजा दामले अपूर्वा देव अधिकारी तनिष्का डिमेलो रॉक्स एंड डेसा जीनी डिसोसा रेचल डिसोसा नियला डिसोसा जोहा फर्नांस निकोल फर्नांडिस सांचिया फर्नांडिस श्रुति गुप्ता मिहिका हजेला अनुषा अय्यर कृति जैन जेनिफर जस्टिन तुलसा काकड़े एलिजा कतावाला शानिया किन्नी ओके रिया लूथर ऑइंड्रीला मजुमदार
महक माथुर कृति मिश्रा Sujata Pal I would like to please request the audience to be more encouraging please clap louder Thank you Anushka Pathak Stetera Riberio Priyanjana Roy Chaudhary Aneska Sarogi Sana Sardana Ankita Shah Jayati Sharma Varuni Sharma Avni Seth Swamini Thakur Stephen Thomas Prerna Chitre Amina Ansari Shivangi Pandey Divya Mavaskar Dhanashri Kadam Driti Shishodhya Pavani Sharma With this, we come to the end of SAG degree certificates. Thank you so much, Dr. Ashna Poncha. We would now like to request our Vice Principal of Science, Dr. Rajminder Kaur, to hand over the degree certificates. The following students have been conferred with the degree of Bachelor of Science. Michelle Pereira. Rushali Das Thank you. 
तेजल देसाई अरिबा धनसे अफीफा कपाडिया उज्मा काशी अरिबा खान आकांक्षा सावंत युमना सिद्दीकी जुवेरिया कल्याणकर आफ्रा काजी जसल खान मशीरा शेख मरियम अंसारी फातिमा मोमेन निधि शिराली अरेबिया सैयद शरण्या दत्ता ताइबा कुरेशी नॉट दे साई श्री तटिकोंडा सफाना अंसारी अदिति डिसोसा
मेघना राजेश अनफल खान अफीफा रिफाई वैष्णवी सुब्रमण्यम पद्मकीर्ति एले स्वरापू सिल्विया हॉर्टा श्रुतिका मोरे सानिका मोरे मेहरीन अलवी नाइमा जौहरी जानवी राउत सुमैया सैयद उन्नति बडगोत्री कायनाथ मालिम कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन एवरी वन नाउ वी विल कंटिन्यू विथ द डिग्री कॉन्फरिंग सेरेमनी फॉर बी बैचलर इन साइंस इन्फॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी प्रीति अनंदास श्रेया अनुमाला नर्मदा भोगा फरहीन चौधरी रोमा फर्नांडिस अनम सॉरी अनम हमदुले अ 
Aliza Khan. Zainab Lakhani. Shifa Mansuri. Marwa Parker. Mehjabin Patel. Nashita Patel. Kalyani Pilamari. Shifa Kadri Krupa Sarvankar Afifa Sheikh Farhana Varsi Mrunmai Chavan Aisha Ganji Fatima Sayyad Mehek Merchant Sanskari Naikwadi uh, Thank you so much Dr. Rajbinder Kaur. I would now like to invite my colleague Ms. Jihasa to continue the further proceedings. Thank you. Um, uh, just one important announcement. Uh, students, please check if you have two certificates with you. One should be the college certificate and one should be the university certificate. OK. I now invite Dr. Rashna Poncha, Vice Principal Arts, to, to deliver the vote of thanks. Good afternoon, everybody. 
Welcome back. We're so happy to see you. Congratulations on your degrees. And we are very, very proud of all of you. <laughs> so it falls to me today to give the vote of thanks to bring an end to this ceremony. So on behalf of our principal and the management of Sapphire College, I would like to thank our chief guest, Professor Shubha Tole, for coming here today, for giving her time, talking to us about her experiences. I think you're going to remember this one forever, right? Yes, big hand for her, please. Thank you so much, Shubha. I would like to thank our principal, Dr. Anaga Tendulkar Patil, and our dean and administrator, Dr. Sister Ananda Amritmahal, for all their constant support and their guidance. Today's ceremony would not really have been possible without the help of a large number of people. And so I think a big round of applause goes to our faculty committees for all the hard work they have put in in organizing this ceremony. So a big thank you to them. I would also like to thank the CUC staff reps, the CUC and the student volunteers who have come here in the holidays to help us today. Our office staff who have helped with all the administrative work. Miss Eliza, Sister Devdita, Sister Agnes for all the arrangements here. The compares for all their work. Mr. Dinkar, who has taken care of all the printing and printed your certificates. And Mr. Shantaram and Mr. Rajesh for the audio and the video. <laughs> Last but not least, the management and the staff of Baba Hall, thank you very much. And thank you all to you for being here today, for sharing this day with us. And we wish you all the very best. Dream big, and we hope you achieve all your dreams. Thank you. I request all of you to please stand for the national anthem. Punjab, Sindh, Gujarat, Maratha, Dravida, Uttkala, Vanga, Vindya, Himachal, Yamuna, Ganga, Uchala, Jaladhi, Taranga, Tava, Shubha, Name, Jage, Tava, Shubha, Ashish, Maage, Gahe, Tava, Jaya, Gatha, Janagana Mangala Dayaka Jaya He Bharata Bhagya Vidhata Jaya He Jaya He Jaya He Jaya 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 He Thank you. I request you all to please wait in the hall while our dignitaries leave. And congratulations once again. Do come back and say hi to us. <laughs>